to no good when I have an Alani new and a screwdriver. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. The number one thing everyone tells you to do when you're having a crisis or you're experiencing a change in your life, you're going through a breakup, maybe your pant size is fluctuating and you don't know how to deal with it, even though you're beautiful no matter what your size. Maybe you're realizing you're not the smartest tool in the shed and college isn't for you. Maybe you moved to a city and don't have any friends other than the one that you have held hostage inside of your house and have forced to live with you. I could probably list a million other reasons. You could be having an absolute mental crisis. The number one thing to do to fix that is rearrange your room. I probably finished my room like a couple months ago. You guys saw my room tour. I love my room, but it's time for some upgrades. Honestly, this is the only task I can think of to keep myself sane at the moment. I did buy myself the Ugg slippers, which helped for a little while, but now I've moved on to rearranging my room. I can't rearrange much. A lot of my furniture kind of has to be where it is, just based on the way that I decorated my room. But we're making a major change today. The biggest upgrade you can make, well, well, technically, you can go bigger than this. I no longer need a bed fit for a queen. I have become the king of my own life. And we're upgrading, baby. I'm upgrading to a king size bed. In my hand, I have a screwdriver because my bed frame is queen size. So my new bed isn't gonna fit in my bed frame. Lucky for me, I have a guest bedroom so I can just put this bed frame in the guest bedroom. I decided to order that soft frame that everybody has. Probably isn't the best idea considering I have animals, but it has not arrived yet. So for now, we're gonna be sleeping on the floor. I was using that as an excuse to not film this video, but I can't put it off anymore. So when the bed frame comes, we'll finish it. I'm already sweating because this room did not look like this 45 minutes ago. I have so much laundry to do. I was just thinking about all of that actually. And I forgot that I have a succulent right behind you that I haven't watered in God knows how long. I need to get my life together. Right now, I need to vacuum and I need to try and get the headboard off this bed so we can get it out the door so I can open my new bed and set it up. Samantha is gonna help me move this out, whether she knows it or not. Let's get it. this video I need to say a huge thank you to the sponsor of this video Birch. Sleep is obviously one of the most important things in our entire lives. Actually take a moment to think about how much time you spend sleeping. It's like half of your life. Birch is a premium mattress in a box company that makes mattresses that are stylish, incredibly comfortable if I do say so myself, and they also make mattresses that are environmentally conscious. Conscious? Conscience. Their non-toxic mattresses are made right here in America and they're all crafted with organic and natural materials that are all sustainably sourced. I'm a human that gets incredibly hot when I sleep, so the organic materials keep me cool and help my body regulate its temperature. How nifty is that? Birch ensures that their materials are produced and harvested sustainably. I knew that I wanted to upgrade to a king mattress just because I feel like that's the stage of life that I'm in. I've had my Birch mattress for about two weeks now. I have never slept so deeply in my existence, and it's so cozy and just so big, and I can just roll around and have the best time. It's truly elevated my my whole like nighttime experience. I've been hanging out in my room way too much now. Do you like the mattress? Duncan loves the mattress because you have more space to sleep next to mom, right? Yes, there's so much space. I'm pretty sure if Duncan could speak, he would tell you that the mattress is really good on his joints. 
With your Birch mattress, you get a hundred nights sleep trial and a 25 year warranty. I know it can be a little nerve wracking to pay money for something that you haven't tried out yet. But with Birch, you get more than three months to figure out if you like it or not. And if you don't love it, they'll pick it up for you and you'll get a full refund. And the best part about this is Birch delivers your mattress straight to your door for free within the US. It comes rolled up in a box and it is super easy to set up all by yourself. Each Birch mattress comes with two of their Eagle Rest pillows, which are made from recycled plastic bottles. I thought that was so cool. They're super breathable. They're way better for the environment. I've been absolutely loving mine. I love my Birch mattress and I know that you guys would too. So if you're in the market for a new bed or if you're just looking to switch it up and try something new, be sure to check out Birch. You guys can click the link in my description box below or go to birchliving.com backslash Samantha Joe for $400 off your mattress and two free pillows. Once again, a huge thank you to Birch for sponsoring today's video and for allowing me to have the bed that I've literally always dreamed of having. We're feeling very grateful in this household. Okay, Duncan wants to play fetch, so back to the video. If you only knew what has been transpiring the past 15 minutes of our lives. This bed has like underneath storage and you can put stuff under it and it pops up to let you do that. And every time we've tipped it on its side, what has happened? Boom! It just ejects at full force, full speed. Initially, we thought we would just take this piece off. We don't have the tools to do that. So we've moved on to plan like D. We tied four ropes around it in hopes that it holds it together. This is craft macro. <laughs> These are my knots. Oh. I wasn't nobody. Oh, this one's so <laughs> These are hers. Literally looks like Survivor Girl Scout edition. Like I'm dripping sweat too, so. All of this for a mattress. If I would have known how difficult this was, this was gonna be, I wouldn't have attempted this. Please. I don't have the I'm capacity. Getting, I'm literally, my body's too old. She has stuff to do. <laughs> and I just can't handle it. I need a Go. break. Let's do this. Alright, let's try. It's usually fine until we start. I'm so scared. <laughs> to say no. We did it. That was the hard part. I need a minute to process. I mean, I don't know if I could say I'm an independent woman because I did have help. It was a woman's help. Okay, the mattress is from Birch. Okay. I'm a psychopath running with scissors. If anyone's outside on the street watching me right now, they're gonna call me a wellness check. Black midnight. Sam got me this Virgo candle for my birthday. Wow. Voila. There's a lot more I want to do with my room. I've realized as I've been rearranging things that unfortunately all of my furniture doesn't quite fit anymore. The room itself looks so much bigger so I definitely like it better this way. And my bed is just massive so don't worry this transformation isn't over but it's definitely over for tonight. I've got a hair appointment in the morning and I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do yet and the self-sabotaging side of me wants to get bangs. I don't think that's the greatest idea even though it sounds really fun. Bitch I'm styling. A lot has happened since I last turned on this camera. I was supposed to finish this video two days ago. Do you want to know what happened two days ago? My cat died. <laughs> I, I don't know how to process this trauma yet. Actually, tomorrow I'm stuck at home all day because they're going to be dropping off her beautiful little crispy ashes in a box. Anytime between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. And just in light of all of the events that have occurred over the past couple days, I'm gonna crack open one of two of the bottles of wine that I bought from that vineyard that we went to. Obviously, I'm a little traumatized. Sigurds deserves like a good tribute. I'm not crying currently, but that's all I've done. Sam made ramen earlier. Because of my parosmia, it smelled like the goo that I had to stick on the roof of Sigurds' mouth twice today. So I was like, oh, Sigurds' spirit is here. And then I realized it was Samantha downstairs cooking ramen. 
was very disappointed. <laughs> I do have room updates for you, but it's been the least of my concerns, to say the least. I bought this robe from Fenty. It actually covers my fupa. If you're looking for a plus size robe, I recommend. Also, we made my hair a little bit darker, so just tell me that you like it. I wanted to commit to curtain bangs, so now I have these. Oh, he needs some milk. I don't remember how we got on the topic, but me and Sam were sitting in my room. We started talking about animals and then started talking about camping, and then we rewatched my camping video from 2020. And in that video, I was 21 years old and I'm 24. Also, I seemed like low key happier back then. I was what we like to say, innocent. <sighs> Suddenly that feels less fancy. Okay, let's do it. Oh. Have you used one of those before? <laughs> like hold Teamwork. with one hand and then twist with the other. I'm about to beat this bitch up. You know when Kendall was cutting the cucumber? <laughs> Take it easy. Okay. And then once you fill these suckers up, you push them down. <sighs> Tell me when this is a regular glass of wine. Now that we have our wine, we can make a little trip upstairs. I probably would have done a lot more exciting things in this if my cat wouldn't have decided to pass away. Take it up with the ghost of Snickers past. Essentially what ended up happening, as you guys know Snickers' this whole history, but she just got really bad. And so I had an appointment for today actually, for her to get put down with lap of love. She decided to have a seizure on Tuesday, so we had to put her down like in an emergency room. But that was really nice, but I don't think poor Samantha realized that when they put the animal down, like you're with them. She was like, no, I think they're gonna like take her away to do it. I'm like, I don't think so, pal. But I was like, I hate to, to like break this to you, but I'm gonna be holding her in my arms when they do it. It was really sad. But that's what the wine's for. I'm gonna make you cry, you ready? I found her collar. I have a little box, so I'm gonna put it in. This video was supposed to be about me rearranging my room because I've been going through a lot, and now I'm just going through more at the same time. Yeah! If you think you're better than me because you don't put ice cubes in your wine, you're stupid. Okay, but now here's the question. How do I put it back? Ta -da. Let's go upstairs. Tomorrow. <sighs> I gotta stop buying heavy things. This does not look like easy assembly. If I'm gonna be an independent woman, my hair is gonna have to be up. That is quite the look. Uh, okay. Here we are, and I'm left with a bunch of pieces to a box spring because my bed is currently on the ground. My bed frame won't be here for a while, so due to recent events, I am an independent woman who needs to build things herself. Easy assembly by following one, two, three. Do you see how many numbers are on this? A lot more than just one, two, fucking three. They're not even labeled. This makes no sense. If you guys could read this, oh. Itchy titty. Independent. 